on both albums are 1999 and on Purple Rain to Let's Go Crazy. Come on. Let's Go Crazy it was such a fun anthem, just an amazing song. And when it's going up against 1999, I debated this seriously back and forth, back and forth, oh, back and forth. I was like, what do I do? What do I do? This is the hardest <sighs> decision from the get-go. You know, both are fun, strong album starters, I feel. Oh, right out the gate. They're both anth- anthems of a decade. Okay, I'm not going to wish wash. I'm just going to stick with it. 1999. Okay. I'm going with it. You're going to put 1999 first. Yes. Why are you going with that? 1999 is just, when you listen to those lyrics and what he's talking about, and when 1999 actually hit, yeah. you were like... Oh my gosh, like everyone went back to that Prince track and listened to it. So it's just it's just such a great memory and it's an amazing song. So 1999. It is definitely a party anthem. Definitely party, yes. And I think because of that reason, I feel it's a little oversaturated. <sighs> Whoa, wait a oh, minute here. Wait reason. a minute. I hear 1999 at like every 80s theme party, <sighs> every New Year's Eve bash. You have to. I've been asked to play it when I'm out there DJing, and I will gladly play it. I mean, you have to, without a doubt. However, I'm going to go with Let's Go Crazy. Oh, really? Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to get to this thing called life. I know. I debated, like I said. That's kind of that little Ramones, like, hey, ho, let's go. Like, Yes. That kind of uh, feel to it. Okay, I respect your choice. All right. I respect yours. There's nothing wrong with 19. Like I said, this was my hardest decision right from I just, the jump. Ugh. Okay. I didn't think we were going to disagree. I right I, from the. I thought you were going to jump on the 1999 train, but not this time. No, not this not, time. Not for okay. these particular albums. If it were like 1999, All right. All right. track one off of that album up against like another Prince album, I, I would be all 1999. I feel you. Okay, next track. Number two, uh, Little Red Corvette. Up against Take Me With You, uh, Corvette on the 1999 album, Yep, Take Me With You on Purple Rain. Okay, I <laughs> went with Little Red Corvette. Same. I mean, it is such such an 80s song. And when you, have you seen the video for it? Oh, I mean, yeah. it's such a great video. And I personally am more familiar with Little Red Corvette than Take Me With You. Now, Take Me With You is a great song. Mm-hmm. But on this one, we're picking like the ultimate. So I'm going with Little Red Corvette. Yeah, you're going with the um, the undeniable it, single. It, it was a hit. It still stands the test of time today. You hear it on the radio, you're like, oh, Red Little Corvette. Red Corvette. Yeah. Oh. You're like, you want to be Prince? You want to be next to Prince riding in the Corvette with him? Oh, yes. Or like in the back seat, the I top's to down jump. on a hot yes. summer day? Yes. <laughs> I'm there. Heading out to the lake, jumping on the purple yacht. Oh, purple yacht? Could you Everything's imagine? purple with this guy. I love purple. All right, so here's here are my notes. Um, okay. Both are great sing-alongs. They are. Love the epic drum roll of Take Me With You, like in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Love that. Could have been the album's starting track. Okay. You know, you could have flip-flop Take Me With You and Let's Go Crazy, and I think Take Me With You still would have been a, a strong album starter for Purple Rain. It's a great song. Uh, You know, it's got that cool, subtle, like, orchestral string arrangement throughout the whole song. But Little Red Corvette, you know, that gets the edge for me. Uh, Tells me more of a story. Those are the the Prince songs that I enjoy more. And I really didn't understand some of the lyrics when I was younger. But as I got older, I was like, oh, oh. This is a filthy guy. Like, who? Like, I had, when you're a kid, you're just like, Little Red, you know, the Trojan horse in it. (laughs) You. I did not know anything that was going on. And then I got older. I was like, oh, oh, okay. This is a whole other world. Wow. I rediscovered the song all over again. My eyes have been opened. (laughs) For sure. But it's just a great song. So I think we agree on this one. You know, I think I want to add this too. Don't get me wrong. Both songs get you ready for a Saturday night. Oh, yeah. Are you going to flip flop or what are you doing? No, the edge goes to Little Red Corvette. Okay. So we're tied on that one. All right. Moving along uh, off of 1999, track three is Delirious. Track four off of Purple Rain, or excuse me, uh, uh, track three off of Purple Rain is The Beautiful Ones. Mm -hmm. What did you have? Both good songs. And my personal choice, which edged out The Beautiful Ones, 
delirious. It has this funky, crazy sound. Okay. That goes back to like, you know, funkadelic sound. Right. So it's just a fun song. That's what I'm going with. It was it was tough, but delirious. I, I want to stay the course. I really want to stay the course with you on our playlist, our, our ultimate, you know, perfect Paisley the ultimate. playlist. I, but I can't. <laughs> what? Okay, so delirious, no doubt, upbeat banger. And that's what you got on this mashup here. Or on, on this matchup, you got an upbeat banger versus the ballad. But for me, <sighs> delirious sounds like a Devo album reject. Oh! <laughs> like, These are like, fighting words, Jason. <laughs> I'm getting like my gloves I hear it, on. I'm like, this is whip it. This is the no! corniness of Devo. No. Which, don't get me wrong, there's, you I know, love Devo. you have to appreciate Devo for the time. Devo now? They're brilliant. Okay. Well, oh. that might be a whole other debate for a whole other episode. We're bringing episode. that. Yes. Okay, so you're going the beautiful ones. I'm going beautiful ones. Okay. Uh, All with, right. with Delirious, the, the overused synth in the song just kind of takes me out of it. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. The beautiful ones is that classic love song. There's that powerful moment in, in Purple Rain when he sings it. In the, in the film? It's a great song. I'm not going to deny that. And it really showcases Prince's vocal range more, I think, than Delirious does. Um, it's kind of one of those songs that reminds me of, like, th- there is a meme out there <laughs> of Prince. The only man that can steal your girl while dressed oh, like her. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? That meme could not so be true. any truer. I mean, he could dress in, like, female clothes, you know, rock those high heel pumps. But he's still very sexy and alluring. And I don't know what it is. But it just, it draws you in. So yeah, I'm going the beautiful ones. Okay. It's just that raw emotion at the end where he does like this scream, squeal kind of thing. Like, who do you want? Is it him or is it me? Baby, I just want to tell you that I want you. And he starts like, baby, baby, baby. Like, I can't, that, that's that, like Steven Tyler-esque That falsetto screaming. that he does. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so we have chosen. So that one got me in the feels a little bit more than Delirious. Not again. We're both on different tracks for fun this one. song, but I don't know. Devo can't do it. Okay, well, okay. Track four mm-hmm. on 1999, we have Let's Pretend We're Married yes. versus Purple Rain, Computer Blue. Now, who did you go? I went with Computer Blue yeah! on this one. Okay. Yes. And here's why. Don't get me wrong. Both are sexy songs for different reasons. They are. Let's pretend for the lyrical content. <laughs> okay. It is like funk sex personified. That's that could be a, that's the genre. That's the lane that, Prince that is was in. Funk best, sex. That is the best way to describe you Prince's need a, sound. You need to categorize what what lane do you put Prince in? A uh, funk sex, funky sex. It's like you're going to the the music library and you ask mm-hmm. the the lady at the uh, counter. Yes, um, hello, ma'am. I'm looking for funk sex. Where may I find that? Oh, you want Boom, the Prince, Prince aisle? I mean, you don't even have to think about it. Kind of brings a whole new meaning to the Dewey Decimal System, doesn't it? (laughs) And we're done. I love it. Yes, I went with Computer Blue, too. I mean, very sexy sound. Yeah, I think solely for, like, the guitar riff and those solos Mm. in the song might be one of his best guitar-driven tracks. And I'm I'm a sucker for those. You love that. Hot licks and solos. Hot licks. So they used to say that describes hot licks. that describes Prince again. Yeah, I again, sh- yeah, but it also describes Prince for other reasons. That could have been a uh, I'm done an album on its own. Prince, the new album, hot licks and guitar solos. I would have been first in line. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need to say. All right, so uh, well, that's cool. Computer Blue gets the win okay. for both of us. Okay, yes, we both agreed on that one. All right, number five off of 1999, DMSR. Going up against uh, Darling Nikki from Purple Rain. Okay. Ooh, buddy. I went with track number five, DMSR. That's my choice. It is funky beyond funky. It has that 80s sound that I love the 80s so much. I do love Darling Nikki, but for this one, DMSR. I'll tell you what, another tough one I struggled with. Did you go back and forth, back and forth? I did. And this was almost a 11th hour change up here. Almost. Okay, I, I can't wait to hear who you chose. Which one? Okay, Tasty Bass and Funk on DMSR. Yes. Arguably the best dance song he ever wrote. Okay. And he wrote some dance There's bangers. A, yeah. Lyrically, he includes everyone. Like all nationalities. Everybody. 
Who doesn't understand what it means to dance music sex romance? What a great acronym. I mean, <laughs> no. I'm not sure the kids today, like, if they would text that to each other, if they would, like, DMS, what's that mean? They wouldn't know. Mm-mm. We're schooling people We're right now. We're bringing it back. We are doing this for Prince. You, you, you text that acronym to your lover, maybe the eggplant emoji. And, and you're good. Uh, that's a Saturday night for you. <laughs> okay, so did you go with DMSR? Is that who you chose? All right, I'm getting there. Oh, Darling Nikki, a filthy masterpiece. The scene it's in dirty. Purple Rain, he's on stage, he's performing it as the kid. And like Apollonia's just standing there, like just the, the, the manager's like, you know, oh, wait, I know this is my girl, and you'd be singing about mm. my girl, and you're like, you're humping some speakers up here, like, but like you keep looking at my girl. It's That's tough, what's up. It's a tough one. Uh, it's one of those, you just can't unhear, can't unsee it scenes from the film. I think you're going Darling Nikki. From you know, the opening verse just sets the whole tone for what's to come. No oh. puns intended. <laughs> We're so done. <laughs> the wind goes to DMSR. Oh! Because Ooh, I just want to, I want a bit more me. dance and funk and party on my Prince playlist. Okay. Fair enough. I feel like I have some slow tempo yeah. early on. Okay. So now I want I want some dance music sex romance. <laughs> He's bringing it. <laughs> okay, we're going to track six. Yes. 1999, Automatic. Yes. <sighs> Such a banger. Purple Rain, When Doves Cry. Oh, man. Again. Oh. A toughie. Oh, I went back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And I just love the iconic sound. Such an amazing song. I absolutely love and will always love. When doves cry. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to put up against anything when doves cry. I mean, where did you fall on this? Uh, mysterious and sexy AF music video. You know, he's... Yeah. Dun, 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 sh, 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 dun, 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 sh, and he's like crawling across the floor and half naked. And only and Prince could accomplish this. The iconic like jerry curl yeah, hair. Yeah, I mean, the, he, he looked good. Yeah. <laughs> when does he not look This good? is what it sounds like. When doves cry. I don't know. I, I can't get into automatic because of it's a good song. I don't. I don't want right. to say it's not. Yeah. But like what I said earlier, when you're putting something up against when doves cry, hands down. And I think you're going again with the the strong single. A lot of people's introduction to Prince is when doves cry. It is. It really is. When you dress up for Halloween or like any eighty <laughs> theme party, you go with like either like the Purple Rain or when doves cry look of Prince. I think you know this I mean? Halloween I might dress up as Prince. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I would love that. that I've was... done it before. There's, we'll have to you post have? the pictures up on our socials. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yes. Yeah. We've done some uh, 80s theme okay. parties and stuff with, with the radio station. And, oh, I uh, want to do that. Oh, it's, it was a blast. Carrying around like an inflatable purple guitar and yes! just rocking out and getting selfies with, you know, listeners. And... I love it. So, yeah, I'm going when doves cry. Okay. Okay. Again, I just can't get in automatic because of how close it sounds to, um, remember the song Cars by... Um, oh, Gary oh. Newman. In my car. In my car. That's what automatic. A U T matic Very similar. Yeah. Right. So okay. when I heard okay. automatic, I'm like, this is the car song, you and I really love cry. that song, Cars. It's a guilty pleasure. I do. Of mine. Oh gosh, I love that song. Isn't that the though the genius of Prince that? I mean, he put something it, out before another iconic song came out, and they got a sound. It really is very similar. It really is. And I'm sure if you went and asked Gary Newman, he'd probably be like, "Oh no, I, I'm not familiar with Automatic from Prince. I'm sure, I'm sure he's familiar with Prince, but maybe not that song." Right. It wasn't as a big hit for Prince. Because think about it, the two songs came out within maybe just a few years of each other. Yeah. I, I would say like maybe again, 10, 15, 20 years passed. Oh yeah, I was listening to some Prince. Oh, I love. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna ask Prince if I can take this and to and sound alike. Make it his own, you know. Right. There's another song out there right now that uh, that we were talking about. We were talking about uh, that earlier. A guy named Trevor Daniel, and he did a collaboration with Selena Gomez recently. A uh, song is called Past Life. It's really gotten popular on the TikTok app. And as soon as you played, like, the first few notes of it, I was like, oh, that's Oasis. Oasis Wonderwall. So I'm wondering if Oasis gave Trevor Daniels per- permission to, to use the track or... What if we're that opening up be. a can of worms? I know. We're, <laughs> Trevor's like, well, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're bar- Sorry, Trevor Daniel. I'm, su- I'm sure you're a swell guy. Don't mean to bury you here. We just, but- had, to, we just had to say it like it was. <laughs> I think number seven is going to be a tough one, too. Track seven. Something in the Water from 1999. Yes. I Would Die for You from Purple Rain. <sighs> you what know, are your thoughts? Strong drum breaks on both tracks. 
But the shrieks and the screams on something in the water 